what Wednesdays is in Wanstead, the St. Michael's section for what is a very special project which will help the Barbados Water Authority reduce its loss of non-revenue water. Kenrick Rogers is a major player in this project. He's the acting project coordinator for what is the DMA meter project and he'll explain what it's all about. Good to have you on the program, Mr. Rogers. Talk to me a bit about this installation that is really going on right across the island. Well, for right now, we are we are in the process of installing the MA meters across the island, which would help us to reduce that level of non-revenue water. What does the MA stand for? So the MA stands for a district metered area. So hence the district metered area, the MA meter yes, installation. Got you. Right. So what a DMA is is the area that we section off in the network so that we can monitor the flow of water into that particular area. For instance, we are here in Watson right now. So this DMA meter that we're going to install will manage and monitor all the water that goes into one state parks for the cell. By doing so, we'll be able to manage our non-revenue water levels because we can, we can measure our non-revenue water. Being able to measure it means that we're better able to manage it. Examples of non-revenue water would be water loss through leakage from burst mains or burst pipes. Also water use for firefighting, um, water use at stand pipes and water from illegal connections are all forms of non-revenue water. So over the past few years, the non-revenue water department has started the process of installing the meters across the island. What we do is to attach a data logger to those meters to make them functional, from which we can get our pressure and flow data in order to make informed data-driven decisions. The project, which will be installing 104 meters across the island, has started with the installation of the meters, but these are not yet functional because they are yet to have the data logger attached to them. So on completion of the project, data loggers will be installed to make those meters functional. Then we will start the process of gathering the data to help us to continue to make those data-driven decisions. If we pump, let's say, 600 million gallons into one state, and when we do our meter readings with domestic customers, then we only realize, hey, we are only being paid for 500 million gallons. We know that we are losing approximately 100 million gallons. So then we can focus our efforts in trying to reduce that 100 million gallons down to about 20%. So how long is the entire process in terms of the installation expected to take and how will it affect the residents? Okay, so on the average day, each DMA will take approximately one day. What we do when we come into the area, we, we survey the area, we lay out where the man is supposed to be at, then we excavate. Then we turn the water off around one-ish. So now we will put out a notice on the radio saying the residents in such an area, like for instance, one state, that the water will be going off around one o'clock to approximately five o'clock. So between that time, all customers within that section of the DMA will be affected with either no water or low pressure for that duration. Right. We try to be as quickly as possible, but remember, everything is not perfect. So sometimes we have areas where when we think the water is going to go off nice and easy, we have difficulties in doing that. So then the connection will prolong until we can get that done back. We try to get it done within one day so that customers will not be too affected. And we try to do it in the periods where customers are mostly at work. So please, residents here in Wanstead and across the country, listen out for those notices on radio and on our socials. That's Barbados Water Authority on Instagram and Facebook. And of course, on our website, that's www.barbadoswaterauthority.com. Thank you again, Mr. Rogers. And thank you for watching another edition of Water Wednesday. Storing water is essential. Five gallons per person per day for a minimum of three days is recommended for drinking and sanitation. Be water wise. This is a conservation tip from the Barbados Water Authority. I'm talking about water.